What's going on everyone? P. Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to part three of a tour of my band concert t-shirt collection. All right. Uh, I apologize, you know, the lighting's not the greatest. It's not the greatest setting. Hopefully the sound is okay. Uh, but there's really no other way to do this, right? Because I got so many of these things and I can't, you know, based on what I'm doing, it's uh, there's no perfect setting for it. So this is what you got, right? So we're going to pick up where we left off yesterday. So as a couple of you had uh, kind of asked, they're like, well, Pete, you said you ended with K, but I didn't see any Kiss shirts. So I didn't quite end with K. I ended with K, Kansas, King Crimson in one drawer. But there was a whole other drawer that did have some Ks. And for all you guys worried about other bands that I haven't touched on yet, like ACDC, Dream Theater, because I'm going through the alphabet, uh, fret not, because like I said, I have a whole other batch of shirts in my closet uh, that are more like metal and stuff like that. So there's going to, if you haven't heard some bands that you expected me or, or to, to show or that um, that uh, you have seen me wear before, fret not. You know, before I get started in the K, let me go over some of the stuff that, um, that was in the wash because I was telling you guys about stuff that was in the wash, right? So, uh, again, you've seen some of these. How about little Scorpions Tokyo tapes? All right, got to show, got to have that. Yeah, this is, this is going to be a pain in the ass. A little Pat Travers action, right? I'm going to get this pile over here is what I got to do because this is going to be annoying. Here we go. All right. Iced Earth. Tribute to the gods. Front and back. That's a pretty cool shirt. I like that one quite a bit. All right, let's. Rory Gallagher. A little Irish tour. All right. The one I mentioned yesterday and did not show. Gentle Giant, Power and the Glory. Humble Pie, Rockin' the Fillmore. And as you can see, for those who are asking, my Beatles Let It Be shirt, fairly new pickup. Here's another Hawkwind shirt I was telling you about. Masters of the Universe, pretty cool shirt. Again, I don't remember where I got a lot of these because some of these I've had for quite a long time. Uh, James Gang Rides Again. And of course, the one deep purple shirt I did forget. Made in Japan, one of my favorites. I wear this fairly, fairly regularly, as you can imagine. Um, yeah, I was going to save this for my guitar player at one, which will be in episode number four. But here we got uh, my man Gary Moore. It's basically a Gibson shirt, but of course, you know, my man. Gary playing Greeny. All right, so that's the uh, that's the stuff that was in the wash. So now we move on to K. Back to K. <clears throat> Kiss alive, people. Gotta love it. Your favorite favorite album of mine. Got a little love gun action. Nuka and the dogs gotta be barking. Kiss a lot too. Surely. You know, there's the, uh, the water softeners going off, and my big dog, my Pyrenees mix, she does not like the water softeners, so of course, when it goes off, she's gotta bark at it for, you know, hopefully not too much longer. This is a cool shirt I picked up, uh, I don't know, maybe five, six, seven years ago. Very cool. Those are my Kiss shirts, for those of you asking. How about my Zeppelin shirts? Because, of course, you know, got those too. All right. And I like this one a lot. 
that. Even cooler is the back. Look at that. Page Plant, Bonzo, and Jonesy. Looking good. So a few of you also asked, how do you actually fold? So what you do is you grab them by the shoulders, right by the sleeves. You fold in, so it's almost like you're folding a quarter in on each side, and then you fold down. And then you have a perfectly folded shirt. I can thank Mama Pardo, Kathy Pardo, for teaching me how to do that. Okay, and now I'm, I'm so anal that everything's got to be folded that way. So, more zip. Nice early shot of the band. Okay. What else? One more Zeppelin shirt. It's actually just Jimmy. Kevin Slower, if you're watching, that one's for you, buddy. All right, so that, uh, now we move on to more L's. Little Lynn Skinner. More Skinner. I like that one. How about some Jazz Fusion Mahavishnu Orchestra? The Inner Manning Flame. Cool album cover. I saw that. In fact, I bought, I'm pretty sure I got that from DJTs in the UK. They're really good on doing some of the 70s like album covers. All right, for all you Prague fans, how about a little Marillion script from Majestus Tear? Okay. Got the logo on the back. Love that logo. I love the fish ears. Love them, love them. How about a little Frank Marino Mahogany Rush? And then this, uh, so if you guys remember from uh, yesterday's episode, was it episode one or two, I don't remember, where I talked about um, that uh, vendor that I bought that Doobie Brothers shirt from, and it came and it really didn't look that good because it was very faded and stuff. I, I got this also, I got from the same guy. And as you can see, while it's cool to have a Frank Marino Mahogany Rush World Anthem shirt, I am thinking that the print is very lackluster, it's very kind of like lacking color. It's uh, the quality of the shirt is not the greatest, and it's just it's dull. <clears throat> All right, Marshall Tucker Band. Bought this first time I ever saw the band. Show Middletown, Orange County Fairgrounds, Middletown, New York. Here we got a little uh, Max Webster action going on here. A little rarity. You're not going to see a Max Webster shirt anywhere. Most in most cases, no clue where I got that one from. Uh, how about some Molly Hatchet? Classic first album artwork. Okay. Leslie Weston Company in Mountain. You guys like Nazareth? Got a bunch of Nazareth shirts. No Mean City, little Rodney, Rodney Matthews album cover art there. Love the artwork to that. I opted to get this, and sometimes you can get these in different colors, not that often, but I opted to go for the navy on that. And you got some Frazetta once again, Expect No Mercy. So again, the, these two, the Nazareth shirts I just showed you, were another perfect example of couldn't get it in a regular large, so I got extra large thinking, all right, well, it can't be that much bigger, and I'll just, because uh, I normally, when I buy any of these shirts, the first time I wash them, I do not dry them. I don't put them in the dryer. I hang them, okay? Always wash in cold water, keeps the black crisp, keeps the colors crisp, and, and uh, helps them to not fade, so I always wash in cold water, but I always, uh, if I don't want the shirt to shrink initially, uh, usually, if you that first time you wash it, if you just hang dry it, uh, you don't have to worry about the fabric shrinking. But if you buy like a pure cotton shirt and you wash it and dry it that first time, I find it always shrinks, except when it's extra large. I don't know why. 
So I did that with both of these shirts because, again, they didn't have them in large. They only had an extra large, and I couldn't pass up the deal. So I ordered one each in extra large, and they're, they're like, you know, I wear them, but they're, they're big on me. What are you going to do? I don't know why I picked this one up. This is uh, Nazareth. That's the cover of one of their hits collections. I'm not a huge fan of this shirt. I very rarely wear it. I don't know why I got it, I think, at the time, because there was no other Nazareth shirts around. And, of course, I found a uh, little hair of the dog, okay, which this is not a great hair of the dog because it's kind of like a knockoff album cover. Um, again, didn't pay much for it. If I saw a real hair of the dog, then I'd probably get it and retire that one. All right, so for all you guys who don't like Ted Nugent, I guess you could stop watching now, but I do have a couple Ted Nugent shirts. Okay, state of shock. Seventy nine tour replica. Is Ted Nugent an ass? Yes he is, but I like his old music. I like his guitar playing. I don't listen to what he says. Alright, Weekend Warriors, another good album. Cool shirt. That's a big stack. Alright, moving on to P. How about a little Pink Floyd? Guys like Queen? Of course you do. Alright, Little Live Killers. Great live album. Very cool t shirt. I wear this proudly quite a bit. Uh, how about my beloved Queen 2 album cover? How about also another one of these distressed? Shirts, a replica of the uh, News of the World tour from 1977. Here's the album cover there. Here is the, uh, the back. All right, so now I told you I had a lot of rainbow shirts, correct? Yes, indeedy. Very proud of this one. So there you got uh, the cover of the first album. Look at how like nice and colorful that still is. And I've worn this a hell of a lot. Okay. And then look at the back. Look at that. Giving love to all the guys there. You got Cozy and Ronnie. The whole gang is there. Tony Carey. Richie, Jimmy Bain, love it. I can't tell you how many times I wear that shirt to concerts and I get so many people coming up to me and saying, oh my God, I love that shirt. Where did you get it? Here we got Rainbow on stage. Great live album from the 70s. Here's another one from the uh, on stage era. Okay, there's Richie and Ronnie. But wait, there's more. Straight between the eyes. So, a little story with this one. So, I actually, uh, if you've watched me, uh, watch my show episode a while back, I did like some of my uh, favorite uh, concerts of all time as well as my concert archives. I have often talked about one of my perhaps my favorite sh concert I've ever attended was the Rainbow Scorpion show at Madison Square Garden in 1980, was it 1982, on the Straight Between the Eyes tour and the Blackout tour. They did it together, and I actually bought a Straight Between the Eyes shirt with this, you know, the same cover on the front, but it was one of those like uh, jerseys, you know. So back in the 80s, they would regularly sell you go to a concert and they would sell a regular t shirt, and you get like the three quarter sleeve jersey. So it was the Straight Between the Eyes uh, cover, white shirt with blue sleeves, okay? And on the back, it had the picture of the guys in the band from the back of the album cover. And that was like my favorite shirt. I wore that constantly. And by the time I went to college, like in 1984, I continued to wear it. But the, the guy, because I wore it so often, it just started like falling apart. So I went and cut the sleeves off. 
So I used it as like a summertime shirt, and I had that throughout the 80s, and then finally by like, I don't know, 88 or 89 or 90 or something like that, the thing just started unraveling. It just completely fell apart. And then, uh, you know, like maybe a decade or so ago, I'm like, you know what? I've got to get another Street Between the Eyes shirt. So there you have it. Uh, gotta have Rainbow Rising, right? One of my all-time favorite albums. Wait, there's more. How about a little Difficult to Cure? Yeah, I know they could have put something a little better on the back, right? Instead of a black and white replica of the front, but hey, whatever. A couple stones. Okay, got to have the traditional stones logo and what have you. And last one. Uh, this is kind of kind of a bizarre shirt. Um, it's like an amalgamation of all sorts of different things. So you got Mick and Keith, and you got the, the lips and tongue at the bottom, and then you know, got this is like a patch on top. Very bizarre shirt. I don't wear this that often. Uh, it's kind of like a weird curiosity in my collection. But uh, all right, so as we're 16 minutes in, uh, we're actually I'm going to stop and we're going to do another uh, another episode, okay? Which I'm going to move into R and further on up, and then uh, so we're actually instead of doing four, we're going to have five because then I'm probably going to have a whole other episode with all my metal and guitar players and all that kind of stuff. So. Uh, Hope you enjoyed this one. Visit us on the web at www.catranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. Of course, we're on YouTube all the damn time. Stay tuned for part four of a tour of my t-shirt collection. See you guys then. Take care. Bye-bye.